Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony, back with another channel message for you guys today. I wanted to turn in a really quick, short message for you guys today in regards to love and romance. So sit back and relax. Take in this uh, reading. Hopefully the messages resonate for you. That's funny. <laughs> the sun card. We do have the sun going down at this time during the magic hour behind me. So I can feel that this may be an actual positive message for you. Hopefully the volume's coming in because I'm not using any headphones or any Bluetooth at this time. But let's try and get a quick message. And it is going to be an effort on my part to make this a quick message. <laughs> yeah, the intuitive muscle is, is too big. Pause. <laughs> let's get into it. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow, add value. We do got a jumper. We have death, transformation, major arcana. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or someone with dark or secretive tendencies. This could be someone that recently went through a transformational period or is currently going through a transformational period. Page of Swords. This is, uh, for me, that's typically an investigation. When I see Scorpio Major Arcana, any Scorpio Major Arcana showing up with the Page of Swords, which is like spying or spectating or someone watching you, it, it gives off like investigate, um, yeah, those type of vibes. So there could be someone really invested in you at this time. Now, this is a love reading, so that would be good news, right? Hopefully. at the bottom of the deck for you guys the temperance <laughs> very very interesting Sagittarius energy so this would be a very balanced person a very spiritual person someone very healing right reminds me of Libra energy this could be some sort of a teacher or an adventurer someone that likes to play as well is what I'm getting so they may have a very youthful spirit. I mean, we do see the Page of Swords showing up. The Chariot, Major Arcana, showing up in this reading. Hmm, very interesting. So, um, off the top of my head, this could be, you know, it's transportation. So this could be someone headed towards you or um, distance in this relationship. The Chariot is Major Arcana Cancer, so... This person may be, yeah, this person's super intuitive here. Death with the first card. Page of Swords is already spying. And then Terry. So it reminds me of someone that doesn't really, it's almost like someone that doesn't need to study to pass a test. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, they're very spiritual. So they may be intuitively guided. They maybe even have some sort of an, uh, ancestral protection. The Knight of Wands, a mover and a shaker, right? In and out energy. Someone that goes towards the things that they want. For me, it's known as the sexual chip on someone's shoulder or the rites of passage card, right? Two trans, uh, two transportation cards or two movement. The Chariot is one of the fastest moving cards in the deck, right? It's willpower. And we know the Knight of Wands has willpower, right? <laughs> Being driven by something. The Ten of Cups. So this person has great heart joy for you. Mm -hmm. And again, deeply intuitive. The Ten of Cups is, you know. This person may have multiple options or they see you. Okay, I'm, I'm getting, they see you as a dream come true. They see a lot of harmony with you. They see you as emotional fulfillment. We're going to do two rows. So that was the first, I, intent, um, I was originally only going to do one row, but we'll do two rows. Seven of Wands. A defensive nature or someone with a defensive posture here. They could be protective over their ideas or their creativity or something like that is what I'm getting. So this person may be a content creator or some sort of a business owner or something like that. Take it how it resonates. The lover's card. They're protective of this relationship. Even if it's even if it is at a distance. The lover's Gemini is communication, right? On the card it says commitment. So you may be dealing with a water sign, uh, Scorpio Cancer is what I'm seeing, and then we have the Lovers Gemini. 
let's clarify the chariot. Let's see this hmm, incoming communication. I'm going to take it as this person may want to get close with you. Yeah, they want to get physical with you. Hmm. They're wanting a big hug or something like that is, is what I'm going to say for you PG under 18 folks. <laughs> they want a passionate hug with you. Nine of Cups. We already saw the Ten of Cups showing up. And the lovers in his Nine of Cups. They see you with wish fulfillment. This is what they're wanting. They're wanting to come towards you for this Nine of Cups. I don't know why I keep getting that Keisha Cole song sent from heaven. One more card, and then we'll see any additional messages, focus messages I can squeeze out of this. We got the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They don't have to be a water sign, or they may have a water sign placement. Strong water sign placement. Possibly a moon sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but this person's definitely some sort of a clairvoyant or intuitive. It could be a singer or a dancer, a comedian, whatever the case may be, a poet. They may like to be near water, water suit, this individual, or anything artistic. Let's take a look at the five from the bottom, temperance. Memories here. Right? This could be someone that you have a past connection with here. Right? It's my cure card as well. So this person may be coming towards you for some sort of a cure. The first card out was the death card. So again, if they went through some sort of a, a tough cycle, they see you as being um, a healer. Knight of Cups, even. Mm -hmm. So they're coming towards you for some sort of a romantic offer, or this person is just straight up a romantic person. We see a lot of movement and travel with Chariot, the Knight of Wands, right? even the Knight of Cups. The Two of Swords, you may not see this person coming. But you know, this is my... This person may wear glasses. Or this person may have um, may wear glasses or contacts. It's also for me when it comes to traveling by plane. It's a flight layover, but it could just be someone not being able to see the truth of a situation or needing to make a decision here. Maybe they're um, getting the I'm getting I'm getting the term caught up. I'm thinking of the the song Usher caught up, and then I'm thinking of a movie that came out in the '90s. The black dude that was like that's been married to like this Asian chick for like over 25 years. The movie was called Caught Up. The Queen of Wands is the fifth card. So again, a very attractive, very beautiful, a uh, very creative individual. This might be a naturalist, or again a traveler. They, you know, this person may like to travel. Maybe they, um, hmm, they would have to take time out. The Two of Swords is a time out. And then at the bottom of the deck, yeah. To end off this romantic message, the Two of Cups. So there's a lot of water sign energy here. We got the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Major Arcana, uh, Death, Chariot, the Lovers, Sagittarius was at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, very interesting read. Mm-hmm. So this person is coming towards you for a romantic connection. It seems quite genuine. Mm, I think this person, the two of swords is showing up. I think this person already made a decision to come towards you. This just could have been something that they've been contemplating for a while because the first couple messages I got was an investigation. So this person has been learning you, right? They've been learning you for a long time. This has to be on social media because... Scorpio rules magic, power, right? Medea, the goddess of illusion, which is social media, the internet. So this person could have been watching your social media or something like that. Anyways, let's end the messages for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the message. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to grow. The sun is going down um, on my right side. What messages can I offer you to close out this reading in regards to love and romance for your clarification? What is this person wanting to communicate with you at this time? Or if they're not wanting to communicate, which I think they really do. <laughs> what is spirit wanting to reveal through the cardomancy in regards to this love connection? What's the energetics at this time? 
in regards to the heart matters. I may have to start those Valentine's Day readings soon. What's the message? King of Wands. And we did see the Queen of Wands show up in the reading. So a partner headed towards you. A King of Wands. Masculine or feminine. Take it how it resonates with someone to match your drive. Yeah, I just uploaded that uh, Neo. She got her own song to the community tab. One of the lyrics or one of the, the lines was she got drive to match my drive. <laughs> but then when you put on the comment, when you look, when you turn on the caption, it says she got tribe to match my tribe. <laughs> well, let's get a break deck message. Silence, just the way I like it. Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands. So this person's been constantly thinking about this. The Two of Wands is decisions, right? We already saw the Two of Swords. So they thought about it mentally, 11-11. And they thought about a physical connection with you as well. So they definitely be watching you from a distance and they're planning ahead to towards you. Very ambitious. right? They've possibly been manifesting you. I saw a lot of magic showing up here in this reading. We saw the king and queen of wands, divine counterparts. The eight of swords? It's like spell work. <laughs> Similar to the eight of wands. If I see the eight of swords and the eight of wands showing up um, and the type of energy that I saw is showing up in this small reading, right? They definitely have been um, praying about this, right? Some sort of a mental prison. I want, I want to say mental delusion, but, you know, when we talk about religion and stuff like that, and, and in some cases, spirituality, people like to make fun of people that believe in religion and spirituality and say these people are delusional, but at least these people have something to stand on, right? Let's do one more break deck message just to clarify this energy. Yeah, there's a romantic partner coming towards you, a soulmate here with the Gemini lovers card showing up. They're definitely sexually attracted to you as well. With the death card showing up. And they're looking for some sort of an emotion, emotional healing or um, emotional success or fulfillment. Right? They're wanting to build memories with you. All right. Closing out the reading. Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they've been diligently. <laughs> it's almost like you would be surprised at the things that this person knows about you already, especially if you're a content creator, right? Even I get surprised when people know things about me that I forgot that I probably spoke about on my Instagram or my Facebook or my TikTok or whatever the case may be. Like people think they know me one way, then they open up a door to my personality on another one of my social medias. And they're like, whoa. It just never stops. You just keep surprising me. I never knew you had this other side about yourself. So, right, this person may already know the types of things like your dress style or the type of things you like to eat or, you know, your style in music or movies or whatever the case may be. So don't let it freak you out, right? <laughs> An investigation. <laughs> your person your person's in the FBI or the CIA. <laughs> You know, what be, you know what would be even worse? And I always say this to people that want to try to date a psychic. Don't try to lie to a psychic. Because we already know, right? We're empathic and intuitive. We could either feel your nervous feelings when you're telling a lie or anything else, right? The spirit will just give us the answers, right? We tend to be very smart, so we ask the right questions anyways. So, yeah, if you're a liar, don't ever date a psychic, right? As a matter of fact, liars need to work on themselves with that karmic energy. But overall, a very positive message for you guys coming from the Lunar Tarot this evening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Did we get a little bit of view? Yes, we do. Pause. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.